Currently, I am learning how Vulkan API works, and for this purpose, I have created the project Hello Vulkan. Thanks to this task, I got the possibility to use Scon's construction tool from the scratch. As a reference, I used Godot, where Scons is used really, really well, and also the online documentation that you can find on the site. The purpose of this video is to show how I used Scons to create a modular project and also understand how Godot get built. If you don't know, Scons is a construction tool that is used to create the executable file of a program. It gets configured using Python script. The script is called sconstruct and while it's simple, allows to create really modular project. The first thing that this script does is to read arguments that you can pass from the command line. Then it performs a check of, this, uh, of these arguments. The first argument check is the platform. It performs a simply uh, for loop to check if the platform is inside, if the platform argument is inside uh, the Avebot platform. The Avebot platform is, the, is assigned using the method detect platform. Let's see this method. This method is defined inside the file methods and it's really simple. It's get, it uses the global function uh, that is a Python function that simply reads all the files inside the platform directories and then it performs some operation in order to return only the, the name of directory inside the platform directory and that's it after the platform get checked it assigned the debug, the debug variable then it checked the Vulkan SDK path that is always an argument, an argument variable and now it defined the environment object the environment class is a SCON class where you set the building configuration parameters like flex, static library, etc. And now using SCON's execute function I can create the dir bin that is the directory where the executable will go. As I said before I am building a modular project and for this reason I want to make some variables able across all module scripts. So I am defining these variables and also sharing this function in order to make in order to call them without import method files again. Also here I am using the method detect modules in order to detect the modules of the application. This function is really uh, really similar to the text platform that I explained before and now I am defining the I am adding some some flags to the environment object like uh, like CPP path and uh, some CPP defines that will be used inside the code and now it's time to export the environment variable in order to make it able inside all, uh, mod, uh, inside all other modules. SCONS give the possibility to execute scripts and using the sconscript function. All the scripts represent each module inside the project, like the server core modules and main. Each module does more or less the same thing, that is, take the the source files and then create a static library that is then linked to the environment object. In order to show it I can show the core subscript that is the, the most easier you can say. What this file does is to first read all the source files inside the module and then with them create the, the static library using the function add library. Why, when the, the core li static library is created, is built, uh, I get a reference. This reference uh, is prepend to the environment object. 
the prepend here is mandatory to keep the order because during the linking phase the library should appear after its usage. Another thing to say is that I want to import the environment variable because when uh, the, the static library is built I want to use all the flags that I have defined in the sconstruct file. Now the most important uh, script is the platform subscript. This, uh, uh, this script is is responsible to perform the final building. What this script does is to import the environment variable that in this moment contains all the flags defined inside the Escon script and also it contains all the static libraries of modules. Also here is defining new flags that are re speci OS specific. As last step, it's build the program using the add program that basically compile the main CPP source file and then link all other static library in order to create the executable file. This is our structure the Hello Vulkan project that is inspired by the solid design of Godot where I take some function like add program or add library. If you like this video please let me know in the comments and also if you have some suggestion please let me know in the comments. Thank you, bye bye.